Hello and welcome to Home Cooking Spain. For today's lunch I'm going to be cooking boiled potatoes with boiled eggs, chorizo and runner beans. So let's begin. Right, so today is a very easy lunch. So I've got a large pot here and first of all I've got my potatoes which I've already cut. I've cut them into chunks like that instead of the usual slices I decided to do them this way so let's just get the water out and I've made extra because tomorrow I'm going to be having this um, le as leftovers with some meat so I've got my potatoes in there and my eggs which before you say anything I have washed them, so I put them there as well. Um, some chorizo, this is the long one that I usually buy, and I've cut it into, well, you can see, I'll chuck that in there as well. And also my runner beans, which are frozen ones and uncooked. By the way, wait, first of all, I'll add some salt to this. And then I just cover this with water. Right, so that's nicely covered with water. And as you can see, I've got another pot here. That's for later. When this is done, um, which should take about 20 minutes once it starts to boil, well, the water with the juice from the chorizo and everything, I'll be putting it in there and saving it so that I can make a stew, use it for a stew, or to make them Galician style crips, or, well, just save it basically. I'll see what I can use it for. Um, I'll wait for it to cool down and then I'll chuck it in the fridge. So let's turn this up right to number 9, maximum heat. And we'll wait for this to start boiling and then we'll turn it down a little bit. Okay, so this is starting to boil. So what I shall do next, turn the extractor fan on and I'll turn this down to number seven and once the potatoes are done you do a stab check and everything else will be done so we'll wait for this to cook and it'll be a good idea if I cover this up a little bit leave a slight gap just in case it decides to spill everywhere right so this should be ready Let's have a stab check. Yes, perfect. Perfect, perfect. So what I'm going to do is turn the stove off and I'm going to fish out the eggs because I'm going to put them in cold water and peel them. So, four eggs here. Peeling time. And while the eggs are in the, in the sink with cold water, let's get this water out so that I can save it. Oh, lovely. Lovely, lovely. I'll leave a little bit here. Just a little bit, about half a glass, roughly. And I'll put this back there. And this juice, yummy, for a nice... I was going to say soup, but I think it's a bit too hot for soup now, in the summer. 
or I don't know, a paella maybe, or a stew. We shall see. And this, but I don't know if you can see this, looking delicious also. It's plenty there for three or four people. Um, so I'm going to peel the eggs now, which will be a nightmare as usual. Right, so I peeled my eggs, and here are my four badly peeled eggs. This one is just embarrassing. Look, way. Well, let's glue this back on, and we'll just put them on there. And when I serve it on the plate, you can. This is optional the olive oil and the paprika but we like to add this so we serve we serve it all on the plate or you can serve it on a big dish and then we'll add some olive oil all on top and some paprika sweet or spicy whatever you feel like well so so here's today's lunch ready I'm not going to serve it up or anything because my wife's not here yet so I'll just leave it there that's why I had a bit of water I left a bit of water at the bottom of this because this is still hot so I'll just cover it up and it'll maintain the heat there for about half an hour at least well thank you very much for watching I hope that you enjoyed today's quick lunch and I'll see you soon cheers